settings that you need to go and configure right after you have activated the plugin and are ready to get started with using it. So the first thing that you should do after activating is going to the downloads menu and click on the item that says settings. Here are all of the configuration options that you need to set before you're ready to use the plugin. There are five sections. There are general, payment gateways, emails, styles, and miscellaneous. So each of these sections have a variety of options. Let's look at general first. There are our general settings. Uh, we have test mode. This enables you to, well, put the plugin into test mode. So if you're using PayPal, for example, you can direct all PayPal payments to the PayPal sandbox and also process purchases without actually affecting any of your final purchase or earning stats. This really allows you to try the plugin out without having to worry about going and deleting the data later on when you're ready to go live and you want to be able to have accurate reports of your sales and earnings. The checkout page, this is a page that is automatically created at the time of activation, but you need to select it. So you can simply choose purchase here by default, and this purchase page will look like this. Easy Digital Downloads will create this page for you automatically and will place this short code. This short code will be replaced with the, the checkout form that shows the contents of the shopping cart as well as the information form to fill out the payment information to complete the purchase. So simply select the purchase page here or if you have renamed this to checkout or shopping cart or anything like that, the success page is where people are directed after they have completed their purchase. So in this case, Normally, it's when they return from PayPal. This is the page they're going to land on. This page is also created for you automatically when Easy Digital Downloads is activated, but you will need to configure the contents of this page. So a sample content might look something like this. Thank you for your purchase. Here's where you can download your products. And in this case, the account page is another one that's using a short code to display the purchase history. And I will show you that momentarily. And this purchase pay confirmation page could have any information on it that you want. Okay, there's also another option that says down, show download links on the success page. So this is the success page that I showed you a moment ago, and this can have anything on it that you want. After a user completes their purchase, they will be automatically redirected to this page. With the download links on success page option checked, a list of all of the products that they have purchased will be appended to the bottom of this page. There's a section to configure your currency options, so you can choose from any of the avail available currencies, and you can see there's a large list. Note that different payment gateways accept different currencies, so please confirm that the currency you wish to use is available for your payment gateway. You can also choose where the currency sign is going to be placed, either before or after the price. You can choose the thousands separator. So this is, the, if, for example, if you have a price that is 10,000, this is going to appear just after the first zero and before the last three, and then the decimal separator as well. One last option under general is the usage tracking. This simply allows easy digital downloads to track the other plugins and theme that you have activated on your site so that the developers of the plugin can better learn about how the plugin is being used and improve the plugin um, by knowing how the plugin is being used. Let's take a look at let's take a look at the payment gateway section really quickly. Under the payment gateway section, you're going to have options to enable all of the different payment gateways that we have available. By default, the plugin comes with PayPal and test payment. If you have PayPal enabled, as soon as a user clicks complete purchase, they will be redirected to PayPal where they will complete their purchase. Test payment simply allows you to emulate an actual purchase with a transaction, but no real money is transferred or exchanged hands. The accepted payment method icons allow you to display icons on the, the checkout page that give an indication of what kind of payment methods you accept. So, if you accept credit cards, you accept PayPal, you can enable the icons that are appropriate for you. Under the PayPal settings, you're going to enter the email that will be receiving the payments for your PayPal account. And then there are also two options that you can use in the case that you're having any problems verifying purchases. If purchases are not getting marked as complete or if purchase receipts are not getting sent out, there are two options here to help you alleviate those issues. Under the email section, we can configure the purchase receipt that is sent out to users as soon as they complete their purchase. There are two templates available. There's the default template and then no template. There are also additional templates available as an 
add-on extension for the plugin. And you can see that this template looks something like this, where you see this gray box right here with the contents of the email inside of it. You can set the from name for who the email comes from, also the email address that the purchase receipts are sent from, the subject of the email, and then the contents of the email as well. There are a variety of template tags that you can use throughout the email. So for example, if you use name surrounded by brackets, that's going to be replaced with the name of the person who has purchased the products. You can use download list to display a list of the file names and URLs to download the purchases, as well as a variety of other template tags that you can see down here at the bottom. Under the styles section, we can configure a couple of appearance options for the plugin. Note that Easy Digital Downloads is very lightweight and that we don't, do not include a lot of styling with the plugin because we want the plugin to adopt the styles of your theme. But there are a couple of options. Number one, if you wish to style the plugin completely by yourself, you can simply disable all included styles that come with the plugin. This will remove all style sheets and you can load your own. You can also choose the default purchase button style. So these are the buttons that say add to cart or complete purchase. And you can either have a button or a plain text. Then you can also choose the default button color. And you have five different color options available to you. And these are the buttons that are going to be automatically appended to product pages to add the item to the cart. This is the same color button that's going to be used on the checkout process and a variety of other places. And then one last setting section under miscellaneous. Here we have just a couple of other options uh, to further configure the plugin how you wish. So for example, by default, all of the purchase buttons used, use Ajax to add products to the cart. Well, if you would like to disable Ajax, you can, in, you can check that box here. We have an option to enable or disable jQuery validation, and this is for the checkout form. So when a user goes through the checkout process and fills out their information, this is going to use jQuery to validate the information before the form is submitted. This is a great way to ensure that the user enters all of the correct information without having to reload the page and then enter it again. We have an option to disable the guest checkout. So if you want to require that all users be logged in in order to complete a purchase, you can disable the guest checkout option. There's also an option to show the registration and login forms directly in the checkout form. When this option is enabled, if a user comes to the checkout page while they are logged out of the site, they will be presented with an option to either log in during the checkout process, or if they would like to create a new account at the same time. If the guest checkout is disabled, then creating a new account or logging in will be required. You can set the number of hours that a download link is valid for. By default, all download links expire 24 hours after they are generated. So if a user purchases a product, receives the purchase receipt, those emails in their purchase receipt are valid for 24 hours, after which they will have to download from the website or have the purchase receipt sent again. You can also disable the re-download of products. So if you want to only allow them to download from their purchase receipt for the length of time that the download is valid, you can disable this, you can check this option to disable it. This means that if you have displayed the download history or the purchase history in any page, the links to download the files again will not be displayed. There's also terms of agreement. These are shown on the checkout page and they're very, they're very, the very standard terms of agreement that require the user to click a checkbox to agree to your, your terms of use for your website. You can enter a label that is shown next to the checkbox and then you can also enter the terms themselves in this main editor. And then lastly, there's an option to enter the button text that is used to display the complete purchase, and then also the text that is used on all of the add to cart buttons. And those are all of the options that we have in easy digital downloads or the basic settings. Uh, you can go much more in depth in this, but this will take you through the basic configuration for getting the plugin up and going. Once you have gone through these settings, the next thing to do is click on add new under downloads and create your first download product.